What tip, thought, or idea do you have for the broadcast community this month? Hi, I'm Joel Sweeney, and my core expertise is oral communication, public speaking, and presentation skills. I help entrepreneurs and business professionals become effective, engaging, and competent speakers. And confident is the key word I'd like to focus on uh, in today's uh, message. And there's many ways that we can create that perception of confidence. We may not get to the full attainment of confidence quickly. It takes a while to build up to that. But we can get to a level where we can create the perception of confidence, I believe, relatively quickly. A number of things that we could uh, consider in doing that. But I'd like to just focus on one for the benefit of this particular message. And, and that is around apologizing to our audience before we even speak to them or telling them that we are very nervous. So I'm sorry, I'm really nervous, or this is the first time I've ever spoke to a group like this, uh, or any other messages that would imply that you're not comfortable doing what you're doing. There's no need to let the audience know that and because it does a couple things. First and foremost, it just draws attention to you in a, in a bit of a negative way. Uh, now the audience is aware that you're nervous. They're aware that you're anxious. And they're going to pay attention to certain aspects of your presentation and what you say and how you say it to see if they can really discover that anxiety or see proof of that anxiety. So right away, you've drawn attention to something that you didn't really want to draw attention to. So... By not saying that and just taking a couple of breaths right at the start, uh, you know, scanning your audience left to right, front to rear, uh, just taking them in. It only takes two, three seconds and then start into your presentation. Keep in mind that you've probably been asked to speak to this group because of your knowledge of the topic. So trust to that knowledge. But at the very least, don't let the audience know that you are indeed nervous they likely, more often than not, will never pick up on it. And they will go away with a whole different perspective and a whole different perception of you as a speaker and presenter. So don't let them know that you are. Don't let telegraph to them that you are nervous. Let them find that out. Chances are they won't. That's your tip for this month. Now go out and make your voice heard.